In this video, I'm just going to walk you through the basics of the camera app. Uh, you've all used it, I'm sure, before, but we're going to go ahead and just launch the camera app. Uh, when you launch the camera app, by default, it always goes into the photo mode, which you'll see down in the lower right-hand corner. Um, from here, you can obviously change what you want to shoot in. Uh, covered in some of the earlier slides, you know, we go from time-lapse to video to photo to square to pano, panoramic images. Um, if you're using an iPhone, you may see some additional options in there. Uh, you may see a slow mo, you may see uh, portrait mode. Uh, depends. Some of those are hardware specific, uh, but whatever mode you have available will show up in that bottom right hand area. All right, so we'll put that back into the photo mode. Um, what you'll see on the left hand side is the zoom uh, slider. Uh, this is digital zoom, it's not an optical zoom, so it's basically just using software to zoom in closer on an image. Uh, this will also be covered in some additional slides. Digital zoom is not ideal to use. Um, you always want to get closer to the subject if you need to. Uh, if that's impossible to do, then sure, go ahead and use digital zoom, uh, but the zoom slider is on the left hand side. Uh, starting over on the right hand side at the top is your HDR button. That's for high dynamic range. Uh, that will use a, a series of multiple images, uh, three images I believe, to create a composite image using the best lighting and coloring from the three images combined into one image. Um, by default that should be off, but you can simply press it to turn it on. You'll know that it's on because you'll see HDR in, right at the top in the middle. We'll go ahead and turn that back off. Beneath that is your self timer button. Uh, by default, that should be off, but you can choose three seconds or 10 seconds. Uh, if we choose three seconds on here and then I press the button, you'll see the countdown. Three, two, one, takes the photo. All right, we'll go ahead and turn that back off. The self timer is great for when you want to get yourself into the photo. Um, the next button down is to change between the rear facing camera and the front facing camera. Uh, the rear-facing camera is the better camera of the two and takes a higher resolution image. Uh, the front-facing camera is what you use to take selfies. So if I press this button, it's going to turn around and show me as I'm making this video. And there I am. All right, we'll turn that back off and put it to the rear-facing camera. Um, underneath your main uh, uh, shutter release or photo taking button, you have your access to your photos. So if you want to see your photos, you can simply press on that button there and then you will be able to go through your images from right there. There's tight integration between the camera app and the photos app. So when you press that button it actually takes you into the photos app to go through your photos. Uh, and then again underneath that is just all of your different modes that you can choose. And that's it.